as he was so careful to remind the crowd, Soralja is indeed the natural child of Gurun Jaja. Scaring me. Son. Is that another title, like the first promise? After a fashion, common knowledge has it that two-headed Mamulja cannot sire children. Yet Soralja was born all the same, with the head of Resolve's features and the head of Reason's scales. An hmm. extraordinary example of life's unyielding resilience. And a warrior's reticence. He says little, but the way he moves... I know a hardened soldier when I see one. We've seen a many. He's a natural swordsman. A gift he inherited from his father. Some even say that the son has already surpassed the sire. Should he come to power, the first promise means to employ that martial prowess in the conquest of foreign lands. For this, he and his supporters have been labeled expansionists. No. Oh. This puts him in direct opposition to Wuklamat, who advocates for the preservation of peace. You may recall that she spoke of a claimant who cannot be allowed to rule. Oh. That is Oralja, I thought it was the big the guy. Warmonger. The big two-headed one. Prion, are you alright? <sighs> the echo... It gave me a glimpse into Zoralja's ambitions. Hey, you but not me? Like an abyss. That's... At the same time, that doesn't happen... Almost fire. ever. <sighs> what? Terrifying, to be frank. Why did it only hit Cryo, though? Just for convenience? I don't know. Second promise. You must bring us more marvelous convenience. Sure. Sure. More dirigibles and patterns and the like. We need Looks very pixelated. To make trading easier. So I'm curious on what it's supposed to be. Oh, this keeps breaking up even more and more. Abandoning tradition. But we're not like them. Afraid of everything foreign and new. You have our wholehearted support. With your ingenuity and knowledge, you're sure to win the contest. Forgive me, but the rite of succession is barely begun. I will hear your petitions if and when I am named Don Servant. If you will excuse me. Plain spoken, as always. Yep. <laughs> That's our corner. He, he, he seems very straightforward and methodical. Here we have Kona, the second promise, who spent time as a pupil at Charlian's own studio. Now that you mention it, I think I did see him in the halls once or twice. There was nothing to suggest he was too rally, much less from a royal family. And that was very much kept under wraps. That was by design. He forwent his usual garb and took an Eorsian name to avoid attention. Oh. What names did he take? So it was Kona who introduced the dirigibles. And the railway too, given what we just heard. In furtherance of his goal, to enrich Tuliolal with every bright notion he learned of in Sharlia. He is the hope of those who prize innovation. As aloof as he may seem, Kona and Wuklamat actually get along rather well. They bicker and banter as only close siblings do. Probably the next best bet. <laughs> How gracious of you all to cheer the lesser Claymonts. Yeah, they're cheering for the lesser claimants. You. Oh, come now. What 
What are you afraid of? I'm no different from your dawn servant. Oh no, you're very much different. That my kind should reign is Mamulja tradition. It has been so since before there was a Tuliola. I'll brush aside your feeble contenders. And then you'll see who deserves your fealty. <laughs> Well said, brother. The Mamulja have finally found peace in Tuliolal. Ah, a pity those fanatics are intent on keeping that tradition alive. He'd probably want to break apart. Bakul Jaja, winner of the recent martial tournament. And the only claimant not of the Dawn's promise. His strength is undeniable. But... You see how he is. A few devoted Mamulja are his only supporters. What would he do with the throne should he win it? Probably separate everyone. His policies and so forth? I doubt he's thought much beyond winning the contest itself. But one thing seems certain. If he does become Dawn Servant, he will see the Mamulja exalted as the ruling class, and all others forced into subservience. And can't have that, that's bad. Sounds like another that cannot be allowed to rule. Mm hmm Who are you? Who the woman? We wish for one thing and one thing only, third promise. To abide together in harmony with our neighbors whom we love in this land we share. It is our way, the Turoli way. Galul Jaja built for us this peaceful nation, and we beg you to preserve it. You have my word. I won't let your pleas go unanswered. Until Tuliolal was founded some 80 years ago, this continent was ravaged by war. The eldest among us remember that dark era, and they are Wuklamat's most ardent supporters. Apologies, it's hard to get away. This is Namika, my childhood nursemaid. Ah. Oh. She's been like a mother to me my whole life. I told her it wasn't necessary, but she insisted on seeing us off. Well, she's kind of your mom, so yeah, that's understandable. I place our precious third promise into your care. I'll try to keep her under control. I was taking part in the rite of succession. Of the Dawn's promise. I thought it was only Zoralja and Kona. If she has any accomplishments to her name, I've yet to hear them. Compared to the two Mamulja, she pales in martial prowess. And then there's Kona, who's far and away the most educated of the bunch. I hate to say it, but it's hardly a competition. It's fine. More than anyone, I understand how much better my brothers are than me. Better? Wuklamat. I have never thought of you as the lesser sibling. Your brothers may excel in their respective ways, but you boast qualities that both lack. A strength that is yours alone. Having cared for you for so long, I should know. Thank you, Namika. Well, we ought to be on our way. Yes, hurry along. 
I await word of your victory with bated breath. We got two who definitely don't want to rule, don't want them to be Dawn Servant. Don't walk them out who we're supporting. And then Kona would definitely be the worst case, our second best case scenario. And that's where we're at. And that's where I'm going to end it because I starting to get tired it gives us a nice point the start of you know the split you have completed the epilogue or not epilogue prologue prologue into his dlc and over halfway to level 91 cool so thank you uh, thank you for watching if you're watching the vod here on twitch i'm sorry they're all jumbled the internet hated me today a lot and if you're watching this on youtube i probably they just have them just like in a the playlist just you know play through them it'll be the easiest way to go about it anyways wherever you're at make sure you know leave a follow here twi on twitch hit that subscribe button on youtube Follow me on these socials down here because that is where I post my uh, schedules every week. Which I should have one out tomorrow at the time of this being live. I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do and I want to get that out before Monday. See how that goes. If not, probably be on Monday. I don't know. Anyways um see if there's any anyone that i'm following ethan saikuno uh, no just a lot of the big names that i follow now yeah, the little ones who i've started following recently anyone in the same category do, -do, -do. Huh? nothing I really want to pop into as I don't want to be spoiled so yeah we won't worry about a raid tonight anyways thank you all for watching and as always until next time <laughs>